Hello everybody, this is Tony Avina, otherwise known as Odyssey Rock. Today I'm going to show you how to do a little bit of color exploration in Photoshop. This is going to help you um, get on your way to having more unified colors, having things work together a little more uh, harmoniously. So what I've done is I've taken this image and I've put together some colors that don't work together. Um, just to kind of show you the effectiveness of, of this and how it really works. So the first thing I'm going to do here is create a new layer and fill that layer with white. Now I change my blending mode here to color and what that's going to do is by filling it with white and changing it to color it's going to turn everything grayscale and it's going to give me an idea of what kind of contrast I have throughout the image. If I look at my regular image here, you see there's two colors uh, in this clothing, this orange and this blue color. When I look at it in grayscale, they're one value. So what I need here is, is more contrast. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into my um, color layer, magic wand, the shadow area, um, and go image, adjustments, hue saturation and just take that down a little bit on the lightness so now when I come back here I should see some contrast now the next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take a color um, it can be any color I'm gonna go with this sort of yellowish color fill my layer and it's still monochromatic which that works too you know it's visually pleasing but what I can do here is take the opacity down on this layer um, and the, the more out of balance your colors are the higher you're gonna have to go on this opacity to really make it work but what I want to do is just kinda get everything into the sort of uh, maybe 30 30 percent range here and then the colors are still pretty terrible so the next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and go back into my color layer select this blue area um, I'll hide the selection and then I'll go back to my adjustment of hue saturation which is command U on Mac um, and then here I can just move the slider around and I already know my value is good and here I think I like the look of this. Um, the only thing here is this, it seems a little too close in saturation to this other color, so I'll just bump the saturation down and you can even take the lightness down a little bit more. And here we're already getting a little bit closer to where I want to be color wise. Um, this all has sort of greenish lighting um, on his head, and this lighting's a little bit different so again I can go here and I can go hue saturation again and this is gonna allow me to just sort of move things around um, till I get into a range I want now obviously this and this shadow color are the same so I don't want to mess with it too too much um, on making it lighter but at least if I can shift the colors towards something I like then that's okay too. And again, um, you know, I might want to even play with the color balance on some stuff or even the overall image. I can flatten this down if I'm happy with the result. Um, I can go on my color layer here, go hue saturation, and move that around until I find something that I think is pleasing. I could. Uh, play with the opacity on that until I find something that I really like. Once I do that I can go ahead and flatten this. Um, this color stands out way too much in this color scheme so I can go ahead and take the saturation down uh, move it around a little bit and then I have this which compared to my original you can see just that little bit of work with the, the layers and stuff is helping me. Um, once I have this image, I could also play with the 
color balance. Uh, let me just select that. Is I can play with the color balance until I get something I like that way. Um, if I'm not sure of what I want to do, I can start back over here. Um, play with this contrast again. Um, go with my layer, my color layer. Now if I'm not sure what I want to do with these colors and I really don't want to commit, then I can go here to layers and make a new adjustment layer. I can make a hue saturation layer. Well, actually, it's best to make a selection first, so if I want to change the hue and saturation on that, then I go here, Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Hue Saturation, and I can go ahead and mess with that as much as I want. And what that allows me to do, again, is just have, have that adjustment on the layer, and... Uh, this really, with flat images like that, you don't need these quite as much, but, you know, it helps on stuff where you have a lot of uh, value changes and gradations, stuff like that. Um, but you can, I can mess with that. I can go ahead and play with uh, contrast in the whole image. Uh, same way, layer, new adjustment layer. Brightness contrast. And this one I'm going to do without a selection so it affects the whole image. Uh, let's get rid of that. Another one you can do is levels. You just play with these sliders here until you get something you like. And you can create a whole uh, lot of different looks this way. And that's all starting with, with this original image. And again, if I'm happy with this, and this is the look I want to go with, then I'm going to just flatten the image. And from there, I can, again, play with uh, different things with, with some of these panels until I get exactly the look I'm, I want. Curves is another one where you just kind of pull these curves around and you can do it for each channel. And it's, it's really um, a good idea to get to know as many of these tools as you can because they can only help you. Uh, replace color is another one that I like on images with, uh, with that don't have this much flat color in them. But I can just pick this color and play with the hue saturation. But that's pretty much all all that I do when I'm kind of lost for colors is I'll explore like this for a while until I start seeing combinations that I like.